Hey, welcome. I'm going to go through replacing this carburetor, taking it off, cleaning it out, and then putting it back on. I'll be putting a new one back on. Okay, that's just taking the top cover off there. It's just three 10 millimeter bolts. Then the gas tank comes off along with that. And I'll be taking off this plastic cover piece. It's got that gasket right there. It goes plastic cover, gasket. Be mindful of those little uh, cylindrical pieces that uh, go between the plastic and the bolt, those two bolts. All right, so we got uh, the governor plate, bolt, the two big bolts out. Be mindful of the gasket stacks that are there between all of the, you know, between everything else. So it's a lot of stuff there. Just be mindful of that. What I want to do here, prying out, I'm just popping out that fuel line and then pulling this carburetor out. Here's the choke link that goes to the uh, black uh, actuator on the top there. Those got, kind of got jammed because of the little S uh, bends that are in the links. And then I took the governor link off. Be also mindful of the uh, spring that goes on the same, uh, pretty much the same spot that the governor link goes to. The spring goes in the hole closest to the engine block. Now I'm taking the uh, carburetor bowl off there. I took the governor or the uh, carburetor drain plug out and then I dumped it back in the gas tank. Probably shouldn't have done that. Could have been contaminated. It actually had a little bit of contamination, but not much. Here's me taking off the float, the needle, looking at the main jet down there. It's important to get, uh, you know, the right size flathead screwdriver to take that out. So you don't want to booger up the walls or the threads of the uh, interior, that hole there. So get a screwdriver down in there. Somebody had this out earlier. It was loose, so that's not good. And then I'm also taking that uh, plug out with a Phillips here in a minute. That was the emulsion tube and the main jet. Now I'm taking just a piece of electrical wire and kind of stripping it down to one or two little strands. I couldn't find my little wire, steel wire brush laying around real handy, so I just got this. And this emulsion tube looked pretty darn clean anyway, so I wasn't too worried about it. But I want to demonstrate how to get through to all these holes here. Sometimes when you have a surging condition in a Honda, Honda engine, it's important that all these holes in the emulsion tube get cleaned out. Make sure they're clear. And let's see, one, two, three, four... five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's like 18 little holes. So you got to poke all those out. Now go into the main jet. Here's the main jet, poking it through. All right, nice and clean. Eventually spray that off with some carb cleaner. Now I'm going to take this plug off. Don't ask me what that goes to. Like up underneath that plug, I'm taking the idle uh, adjustment screw out of there to get to that plug. Just go to some passages inside. And uh, I just take it out and spray. I just spray all the holes out eventually and blow them out. So we got some uh, carburetor cleaner in there. And we're getting all the holes. If you have a, uh, well, this carburetor here has a metal seat down inside of that hole where the float needle and seat goes. If a carburetor has like a, a rubber seat. I try not to squirt any uh, carburetor cleaner in there because it can expand the rubber seat and then the float will not uh, work properly. And here's me blowing out the main jet and the emulsion tube with compressed air. And putting the screw back in. Now when you use the compressed air to blow through the uh, motion tube and the main jet, make sure to uh, hold on tight or they're going to go blowing across the shop. Okay, I have the uh, idle mixture screw back in there. Now I'm putting the emulsion tube back in and that uh, make sure you put the right end in 
and put the main jet in there, get it nice and snug tight down on top of the emulsion tube and get it there. Okay, putting the float back in can be tricky because the float's got to be kind of just right in those little grooves there. So you got to kind of balance it and you're going over the top there, you're sliding it down. I dropped this thing about three or four times before I uh, get it in there. So there it goes. It's about in. Nope, dropped it again. I promise I get it in here. Okay, get it down in there and put your pin through. And what I like to do once I get the pin in there is I hold it upside down, blow through it. It should seal, blow, turn up the right side way, <laughs> right side up, blow through it, and air should go through. Now, when you're installing that blow bulb, make sure that drain plug is opposite the uh, inlet port for the fuel inlet port. Got the bowl back on, bowl nut. Now I'm looking around at the stack. At this point, I forgot that I'm supposed to put a new carburetor on this machine. Uh, this guy gives it to me, and I'm thinking, yeah, I'm just going to... I listen to a run. I listen to the machine run, and then I was like thinking, okay, I think a good carburetor cleaning would do well. And I believe because someone didn't get the main jet in there properly, um, that was attributing to the uh, the surging and also the uh, spring that's on that arm right there that I touched with the governor, right, that one right there, that spring was not connected at the carburetor end. Here, I tried to take off this, uh, the link, and I just figured, uh, no, I'm not going to do it. The old stuff looks fine. It's going to work great. And I put this all back together. Be mindful of the stack of gaskets. I am going to, from uh, here going forward for a few more minutes, I'll put a list up of the uh, order of gaskets. <laughs> okay. So it's like cover then a gasket, and be mindful of these bolts here as they go through that plastic cover. There are uh, steel uh, sleeve, little steel cylinder sleeves that are that take up that space where the bolts go through the plastic cover, so don't let those drop out. I didn't give a close-up of that, but you'll see them. Um, that's what the bolts slide through as it goes through the plastic. It's easy to put this thing upside on upside down or start to, but when you realize you 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 got it on upside down and you it, it's just easier to see stuff because if you look just above uh, above my uh, left hand there there's that extra plastic kind of piece that hangs over the carburetor it just makes things difficult um, or a challenge when you're putting all this stuff back together so it's plastic cover gasket the uh, governor plate, another gasket, the carburetor, another gasket, the, uh, I don't know what it's called, it's like a spacer thing, um, heat sink deal, and then another gasket. And then eventually, that's all sandwiched down, the bolts go through all of that stuff. And this is me trying to put the fuel line back on, okay? And I think I got the bolts started now and right around this time I'm realizing that uh, okay I'm supposed to be putting a new carburetor back on here so you're gonna get a twofer I'll be taking this back off putting the new carburetor back on and then uh, dorking around with uh, the whole uh, carburetor stack again yeah, see, that was the that was the issue. That little uh, block piece fell up underneath the uh, cylinder head, and I had to go retrieve that because I I was trying to uh, tighten it down, and there's just a big gap in there, and the bolts weren't getting tight because that that spacer block had just fallen down there, and that's it in my left hand. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah. So I'm looking to see, okay, how does this fit? How, what are, what's the stack? How do these stacks work? And I'm kind of looking at it. Figured it out eventually. Yeah. 
Top of the morning. Early in the morning today. What is today's date? August 15th, 2024. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to rain most of the day. And there's that there's that block spacer thing. I don't, I don't even know what the name of that thing is. But that's the thing closest to the engine block. So there's uh, going from the engine block it is the stack goes. There's a uh, gasket. And then that spacer block. And here's the vent to uh, atmosphere. I'm just making sure that that vent, air vent, it was uh, clear. Use a little screwdriver. Okay, so from the engine block, it's going outward. The stack is gasket, spacer block, gasket, carburetor, gasket, the governor plate gasket and then the black exterior cover there that uh, houses the air cleaner all right got things back together and putting these three 10 millimeter bolts on there make sure to not over tighten these bolts but when you do sometimes the nuts will not come off of the studs and the studs on the engine block side will uh will come out and that sucks okay so, getting ready to uh, fire it up, and we'll be going to normal speed here in a second. And that's me putting the air cleaner back on. Let's have a listen. 